Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. In top corner, roll top scorers, we spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings it a 1v1, one one, trying to see who wins. And UFC! Manchester United nil, Real Sociedad won. Um, was not a good performance at all, and I'm saying it, you know, from the most from start to finish. From on a, on a Manchester United perspective, it was lackadaisical. I mean, looking at the sheet, looking at CMs, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 I did it this time, not you. Looking at my booklet, I mean, we had changes: Lindelof, Maguire coming in. Casemiro, Fred, uh, Elanga, Ronaldo. And you know what? Maybe it was to be expected. Maybe just the amount of changes through the balance of the team. Often, it just wasn't a good enough performance. Both, us, to be honest, both teams in that first half, in the, in the, throughout the whole game, really, just lacked the composure to keep possession. The intensity in our press wasn't good. There's so many parts of our game that I thought have been really good as of recent in the Premier League. It's dropped off completely in this Europa League game. And of course, with the changes and guys that haven't had a lot of minutes so far, you would expect that. But at the same time, you would want to see a bit of grit, a bit of fight and a bit of bite in those players who are coming into the team to see if they can stake a claim in that starting eleven. But that just wasn't the case today. The penalty decision was absolutely poor. That penalty decision was a dead. I mean, how you give that? The flex of Martinez's knee onto his arm. He's already diving in. I mean, where is the context in these things? You know, I'm going to leave it to CM to speak about because I have nothing much to say. Just not happy with that performance at all, man. And ratings wise, we don't usually do ratings, but just know. It wasn't sweet. Uh, maybe I was a little harsh on my player ratings on the stream. Big up to everybody who came on Twitch for the Stay United watch along. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I know that wasn't the greatest viewing for you guys either. So I appreciate each and every one of you for coming through. I appreciate everybody watching this video right now. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe, of course, to CM22 ENT. But back to the game. But one thing I do want to say actually is rest in peace to Queen Elizabeth II today or on the 8th. You'll see this on another day, but on the 8th, she passed away peacefully. Quite a, a sad day across the whole United Kingdom, across the world really. Ever since the news came out, it's been quite a weird afternoon, evening, just the whole day really. And throughout the stream, the energy was lacking a bit, which is why I apologise to the peeps. Um, but yeah uh there's nothing you can do about that when you're not feeling 100 percent. i guess you're not feeling 100 percent. but yeah prayers to everybody involved the royal family and, and everybody that's been affected including the public but yeah rest in peace to queen elizabeth ii yeah that's uh all i've got to say on that you know the privilege of me sitting back and letting cappy do the watch alongs is that i get to sit and, and, and watch the game and really analyze the game in a different way where on a watch along you may not see certain things. I, I definitely did. I'm gonna start off by saying that it's not the end of the world but for Manchester United. We brought in a lot of changes, a lot of players who have not had a lot of minutes in the first team so far this season. So you expect a slight drop off. The, the biggest concern in that drop off was the intensity of the team and the organize, lack of organization, which the organization can be fixed, but once again, the intensity is another thing. You need to be intense. You need to come out with a level of energy that puts the, the opposition team under pressure, especially when you're at home. And that wasn't the case today. We just lacked the bite. We lacked what we needed to get the job done. And once again, Cappy has given me the privilege to speak about this refereeing decision. But I've got to say it again, what an absolute disgrace. This is just not the Premier League now. This is the Europa League. They've had an opportunity to look over it. The referee didn't look at the monitor. 
it was just a decision made in within VAR and I guess it wasn't a clear and obvious error even though I don't think they have the exact same thought process when it comes to VAR with UEFA but still they decided it was still a penalty and that just bewildered me because there's there's no chance in hell that should have been a penalty but nonetheless it was we went one nil down with that all being put into perspective we didn't deserve nothing more than a draw at best from the game it was a horrid performance a horrid game and quite a, a miserable end to the day with the news that obviously Cappy is, is touched on but still there are no excuses for a performance like that I said I would give them a blight because there were so many changes and stuff like that but still performances like that results like that are unacceptable we've only got ourselves to blame if we're going to be blaming the referee's decision of course that was a factor but let's be real we've got to be better as a team performance wise and I'm sure when they return to training that will be the focal point of the conversation when they analyze that game and analyze that performance because it simply was not good enough ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video it is a short one not not too long because it's just been one of them days it was one of those performances i hope everybody's feeling great today feeling blessed as it stands we don't know if there are going to be games over the weekend following queen elizabeth ii's passing right now the governing body is saying that there is going to be an answer when this video comes out in the morning friday morning so look out for that uh it's looking like and the, it sounds like the players and, and all the teams are expecting that this week's round of fixtures in the premier league are to be postponed and resumed at a later date so just look around on the news on social media for the latest stuff of course on cm22 ent on twitter make sure you follow be retweeting when the news comes through everybody make sure you have a blessed 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 weekend it is friday for a thursday when we're filming this but friday when the video comes out so enjoy your friday be sure to join the stream nba 2k23 day so be sure to join me on stream today where we start the my career series and look at nba 2k23 get our first look live on stream so make sure you join it's either going to be at 5 p.m or 6 p.m join the community discord join the 22 server to know the schedule and all that good stuff ladies and gentlemen drop a like on this video subscribe if you're new and we'll see you lots in a bit Make sure you subscribe, yeah, yeah. like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, no, my no. control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might break you, if you pass through ends and this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through, 22s.